All right, we got a save made. <clears throat> well, let's pet the kitty before we leave. Goodbye, kitty. Oh, I can't. There we go. Pet the kitty. Hmm. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Okay, so we gotta meet with Dex. Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes? Hey, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tag hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hey. Hmm. So, non-lethal takedown, quick hacks, weapons, EMP grenades, combat gadgets, okay. So we can do stuff non-lethally. Bop, bop, bop. Okay, just knock him down with a baton. Get in Dex's car. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. <laughs> Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. The corpse don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Klein, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know. Who'll be there for it all? Yours truly will be remote. T Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much like you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shark. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. 
Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of higher-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say went, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gang mate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Send it in now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. <clears throat> I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. All right, so that's the job. That man blowing smoke and not hitting the cigar. I'm waiting to see if he does it again. One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred, build your street cred to make a name for yourself in Night City, Underworld, doing so will open new opportunities. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Clint will want to check our pro cred, but to me it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Frick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. Hang on. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker, I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I live. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. To the ground. Hasta luego. Hey. <clears throat> so job, job completes the ride. So let's see. We got our journal. We also have a level up. 
We got a tribute point and a uh, perk available. Put our cool up to five. What do we have in here? Ooh, silence weapons. We'll take that. Fuck. I want my vape. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we got a good many jobs now. We got the pickup, the information. Call Militech agent, murder a stout, or marry the stout, meet with Jackie. And then we got to go to Lizzie's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Uh... Very high danger, the gig, the gift. Let's do a side quest. Retrieve the ping. Oh, that's right there. Okay. Question is... Looks like we need to take this little bridge. B, I just wanted to remind you again, Eddie's have already changed hands between me and my esteemed Maelstrom partners. Some 10,000 to be precise so when you're there take it off their hands don't let them try to shake you down as they might as they're liable to do maelstrom being maelstrom oh you can reply that's pretty cool so looks like we found the last honest cop in this city her name's Anna Hamill, and whatever she's investigating, it's made her a lot of enemies. She'd do best to cut it out if you catch my drift. Okay, look, I know how it sounds, but somebody would have taken this gig anyway, right? I don't know. Maybe there's an angle you can play here. Either way, info's attached. T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third-gen deck. Got a Militech power line. Think it'll do. Mm. Solid gear. For a beginner. Okay. Glad to grab a demon, always. You could test it now. I have an access point, if you'd like, that is. You might extract some shimsoft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Okay, so this is what we need. Uh, reveals enemies and devices connected to the local networks. How's this work? Any punk off the street can waltz in here, grab some shady running soft? No, not just any punk. Over the counter, we fix cyber decks. But if you come recommended and you know what you are looking for, I'm sure you will find it.
Okay, cool. All right, job complete. So now we'll head to Lizzie's. That's our car over there. Okay, well, it's not hanging out when we're not in the menu. Oh, Lord. this shit whoops oh what Okay, so you can fast travel. I guess we're only available in this district right now. We're closed right now. Well. Oh, she's got a fucking bat. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, Input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Why, thank you. Yeah? What's up in the big world? <laughs> no 
surprise there. Hey, get you something. So curious, the name Lizzie's is that the owner? Not for a long while, no, and it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Let me guess. It didn't last? No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. What's on the menu? All right, so we can buy drinks. Uh... Reduces movement speed, so they all have effects. Oh, okay. Okay, we bought a drink. So let's chat him up. I'm looking some for more. Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing. This place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. Okay, so I guess we'll follow so, her. What can a horn Nothing's wrong. like me? Really? For a hungry guy Why don't you just you tell me the truth? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, 
It's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Gorb hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Well, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, Mutual Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. It can be a very useful tool. What? Good for Tons analyzing say, details, sure, human okay? perception, well, even boosted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't grasp all right, all right, all right. exactly it's what you need. Mm -hmm. So what's on the mm -hmm. tape? All right. Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Uh -huh. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, uh -huh. this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. Mm. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. 
Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BD yet? What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? I think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Righto. Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. All right. I don't know if this is about to be like a strip thing, or... Create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see, where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Size won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly though. You ready? Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearing. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in and three, two, one. Oh shit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Oh shit, okay. So it's a recording of a robbery? Down! Everybody! On the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah, uh, interesting. Okay, so the BDs, you can, like... They do the, the strip thing, but also you can see, like, recorded stuff and basically, like, put you in it. That's interesting. Uh, 
that flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. So let's see how different the editing mode is. I'm not gonna lie, I gotta use the bathroom like a mofo after this. Oh, it's bright. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Full scene of yours. Full cam control and analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast-forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing up. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, and sell the to those freaks from the studio. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, Get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full black. Past. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Alright, visual layer, thermal layer, sound layer. Bold sections of the track indicate scannable clues. Pistol, Lexington, high capacity magazine. On. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything. Every little detail. Even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Pack of cigs, case of brosif, and a couple of zappers. Okay, we have with you today are two flavors. Cody and no. Serpentine. Everybody! Oh. So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw, stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hello, nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. The ground! What a sheer kiss in the flooring! Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. 
All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop your shit. What? Now, before I blow your fucking head off. See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Trying to see who it is. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the law. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? To no way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risks I took by letting you in here. What I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in, or I'm on my way out. Judy, please. <sighs> fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Hey, V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Alright, let's see what this is.